Vladivostok is well known by everyone in our country and widely abroad. Being one of the key regions, it connects Russia with APR countries. The APEC Summit is a yearly meeting of leaders of the most dynamic region of the world that includes China, USA, Japan, Indonesia, Canada, and Australia. This summit took place in Vladivostok in 2012. The building of the FEFU campus was one of the main points of the preparation to the summit. The campus symbolizes an intellectual potential in Russia's culture in the region. Primarily, the Ruski Island was almost desert, but in only a few years, a modern city has been built. You are on the campus of the Far Eastern Federal University on Ruski Island. Just look around you and you will see a modern university settlement as active and alive as an anthill, and also well-organized and administrated. And can you imagine that just four years ago there were no campus, there was nothing. And Far Eastern Federal University also didn't exist. Today it does exist, indeed. And it is already the most powerful, in whatever sense, university on the Russian Far East. Very attractive for students and faculty for all around Russia. And it is also the most recognizable Russian university in the Asia Pacific. The university recognized as a partner. Any member of the prestigious Association of Pacific Rim Universities would confirm that. Was that easy to achieve? No, absolutely. But we coped with this task, we moved really quick, and we'll be efficient as well in promoting our university to the world level. Nowadays, FEFU being surrounded by beautiful seascape looks like the city of the future. It's the only world-class campus in Russia and one of the best in the world. The main campus structure is a student center which is connected by junctions and spacious halls with numerous educational buildings. In these buildings take place scientific and educational activities of the university. There are some other university buildings like the sports center, laboratory building which has the most modern equipment, and the medical center that works by the standards of foreign clinics. Talking about the uniqueness of FEFU, it's one of the few Russian universities that accumulates knowledge and intellectual resources in such perspective areas like marine ecology, Arctic exploration, biomedicine, robotechnics, and the political researches of APR. These key areas are developed together with FEFU key partners, the Far Eastern branch of the Russian Academy of Science, and the Association of Pacific Rim Universities, APRU. FEFU is the only representative of Russia in this association. The APRU consolidates 42 leading universities of the Asia-Pacific region. Centers of Excellence has formed in FEFU in some scientific and technological areas. The concentration of scientists' leaders and the involvement of research teams in large international projects promotes awareness of the demand in the university among talented students from all over the world. Nowadays in FEFU, there are more than 33,000 students from 35 countries studying mostly from Asia. Foreign students choose FEFU according to many reasons. First of all, the university has unique educational programs in foreign languages. The preference is for studying international relations, languages, Arctic, and biomedicine. The most popular study program is civil construction, and it can be taught in Russian and Chinese. In FFU, we can build a network between another uh, country, another student, with another students. We can make a global community in this campus. It will be opportunity, it will be a good chance for us to enter the international community. Plenty of world-class scientists work in FEFU and their reputation attracts talented enrollees from Russia and from abroad. Karu Maruta is a professor who became a leader of the research team at the International Laboratory of Combustion and Heat. He was an FEFU faculty in 2014. And the, I think it is remarkable because now whole university just removed from city center, which has very, very long history. And I really expect that really, really significant achievement will be, will be made very, very soon. FEFU is a great place for the development of science. A new laboratory building with the most modern equipment and the required infrastructure was commissioned in September of 2014. The favorable terms in the university strengthen the system of PhDs and make the opportunity to qualify the new generation of young scientists. Some of them have achieved a great success already. 
For example, Kirill Golovast was recognized as the best young scientist in ecology from all of Eurasia. Our scientific educational center is working in the progressive uh, fields of nanotechnology. For example, we study uh, toxicity of uh, different nanomaterials, uh, especially carbon, nanotubes, nanovirus, uh, nanofibers, and others. Also, we study uh, nanobiotechnology in biomineralogy. We are looking for new biominerals from plants and uh, fungi, and we have some uh, interesting, unique uh, founds in this. Field. The Nobel laureate, Jorez Alvarov, has highly praised the FEFU laboratories as there are possibilities to make nano-level researches. In our laboratory of thin film technology so far recent Federal University, we produce novel carbon-like coatings for medical instruments and implants, for industry, uh, for drilling and milling of uh, steel, aluminium, plastic and composition materials. Robotechnics is one of the most preferred courses in the FEFU. The underwater robots that are good at world championships were constructed by FEFU students. The university prepares specialists in the program of mechatronics, trying to develop that course. According to UNESCO data, mechatronics is among the 10 most popular and prospective specialties in the world. More than 2.2 thousand scientific publications is a result of scientific researches of FEFU scientists in 2014. This amount is 40% higher than the previous year. A quarter of these scientific articles were published in top scientific journals indexed by international databases Scopus and Web of Science. FEFU raises healthy generations because of active sports life in the university. World champions and masters of sports work and study here at FEFU. FEFU is a real student city. It has all the opportunities for a comfortable living of all the students. Nowadays, FEFU is the only university in Russia which has a very comfortable and convenient condition for disabled people. The campus was built using advanced technology and sorts well with the latest international standards. FEFU isn't only a huge scientific and educational international center, but a big international family. It's a place where everybody can recognize his talent and achieve success.